Hello guys and welcome to the channel. If you are catching this intro by way of Marvelous Taurus Tribe, Marvelous Cancer Tribe, Marvelous Libra Tribe, Marvelous Capricorn Tribe, or readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot, hello, hello. Everything you guys need is below in the description box for you and your collective. This is going to be your weekly energy reading intro. This, this intro is going to cover a couple of topics, but the energy reading is uh, for the week of July 23rd through July 30th. Um, and the first thing that I want to say to you guys is happy Leo season. Leo season is finally upon us. Cancer season is in the rear view. I know you fire signs love to say that. Um, so happy birthday or happy uh, if it's right now if it's belated you're definitely cusping if you if you got a birthday right now um or if it was yesterday okay um and so happy belated for you or happy birthday if your birthday is today um and i'm going to say that this month is going to continue to be a little crazy what's extra special guys is that this is the this is leo season Leo season and then we have this Venus retro right now going on in Leo if you're interested in how that's going to affect you now that it has turned retro then I need you to go back and listen to my Venus enters Leo video and in that same house where it slid into um, that's the house where it's gonna go retro at I'm not gonna do a separate video for the retrograde because Everything that I said in that video just just slap this level of reevaluating or re um, reexamining on top of everything that I already said. It doesn't really require um, a, another video. OK, one of the things that is notable um, is the fact that the full moon in Aquarius is coming up on the um, August the 1st. So I will be giving commentary about that. Speaking of the full moon and the new moon video that we had, new moon and Leo that went up, I believe. No, I'm sorry. New moon and cancer. I apologize. That video is ready to go. Um, at least I thought it was ready to go. So I apologize for the delay, although it is um, a little behind, but they never really expire because new moons will set forth, you know, six months in advance and. Um, you see what you have set into motion at the full moon in Cancer, which should take place at the end of this year in Capricorn season. Um, so it's not like they expire or, you know, it's not like Tarot. As soon as you watch something with a date, you're like, oh, that's over with. Although my videos are timeless. Before we get into the next topic, I just want to say that that video did have an issue and I'm trying to fix it. There was a lot of work that went into that video, like all of these uh, moon pools podcast do because I am layering video and audio and then sometimes when I have to go in and time stamp that the, my editor loses its mind although I do this all the time so I apologize for the delay I will be linking them on both the channels as usual as well as this um, as well as the full moon in Aquarius on August 1st when that comes um, so if you were looking for that um Cancer uh, Moon Podcast, the new moon in Cancer. I apologize for the delay. Um, it is coming. All right. In the second half of this intro, I wanted to address candles. Um, I've gotten a lot of you guys that have reached out to me um, and I wanted to um, just go on record to talk about the candles really quickly. Um, no candles are being sold unless you are friends, family or you are local. OK. Um, I am not shipping candles right now. Uh, my full offerings of my wax company will not be offered until April. Everything right now are basically test products. Um, they're full. Sorry for that ignorance outside. I swear you would think I live on a wait, a racetrack. Everything right now, I don't want to necessarily call them test products as if they're not good enough to sell. But all of these, are, let's just say prototypes, every Set that you have right now is a prototype and basically what I'm doing is I am doing a lot of gifting and I'm doing selling for um, a little less than I will when I launch 
um, just to ensure that these scents last. Now, what you're going to be buying right now are summer scents. OK, um, the the shop launched like when summer was already underway. So I decided to forego spring. So there was not a spring collection, although so there was not a lot of florally things. The majority of what you're going to be getting from me right now is definitely summer scents. Um, I will be debuting my fall scents and we'll still be doing the same thing. I am doing that and I will have fall and I will have Christmas and then I will do spring when I launch in April of 2024 because a lot of you guys have been asking. Right now, what is on the website is what is available and even the scents that show sold out, we are completely stocked. Um, we don't have much. I'm going to be updating the inventory because I did make some deliveries. So that is the explanation on the tentatively named Marvelous Madame Wax Co. because um, I don't know if that's going to be the name. Um, but right now it's being sold under my current name. Uh, if I decide to change that, I will let you guys know officially during launch keep in mind that anything that you purchase from me right now um those coupon codes never uh expire so you it will entitle you to 20 percent off on your next order or 20 percent off that you can save for launch okay samples will also be given with every order as it stands right now um, I am working on a lot of those. If you're interested in launching a candle company yourself and you want to know, um, what I'm doing, you can follow me on marvelous miscellaneousness. That channel will be soon, will soon be rebranded, uh, to match the, uh, candle company's name. Um, as I've stated, a lot of you guys have asked me an email and it's just easier for me to address it right here. So that should conclude everything that you need as far as the candles. I'm sorry. It was just easier for me to tell everybody the same thing. In closing, and this will be timestamp, this is going to be your weekly energy reading intro, carrying you through the energy of July 23rd through July 30th. Um, and this is Leo C's, and let's clap it up for the Leos. Happy birthday. Um, here's to a beautiful um, month. And that is that, guys. I will see you in your respective videos if you're interested in a personal reading guys all of that information is below right now our summer offerings are the pre-recorded video and tarot text um and those links are below if you are an existent client of marvelous madame aka marv then you already have a um, a separate link listen to the last intro on emergency readings and i'll see you guys soon Bye, guys. Hello, Aries. Welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. It's going to be your weekly energy reading carrying you through the 23rd through the 30th. Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Pent in the pent comment below or address in the intro to this reading. This is for Aries. What do we got for Aries this week? This is for Aries. All right, Aries. Well, congratulations. Um, it's about your house this week. Your house, your home, your lineage, um, your 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 ish. That's what it's about this week. Your home, your money. You're trying to surrender to something. What is that? The Aries collective that I'm talking to is a business owner. Um, there's something that's on your mind, though. Uh-oh, looks like a queen of cups. You got a lady love on your mind. Somebody that you're loving on is on your mind. You're dealing with your money. You're dealing with your issues. You're dealing with, you know, your house, your home, your company. And all of the aspects of running that house, home, company, you know, um, renovations or whatever. Abundance is coming in. Signing of a contract, getting approved for something. You're, you're, you're managing, handling and managing like the boss that you are. But um, there's something in your heart that you must surrender to that you are refusing to surrender to. There's something that you are not all the way trying to accept. <laughs> um, and these things have you up at night. 
Um, we do have a nine of swords um, in the past. I'm looking at a queen of cups. Obviously, there is something surrounding this queen that you ain't really jiving with. Um, that's what I'm looking at right here. It looks like you are fine otherwise, but you do have something on your mind. You got night the uh, thoughts that keep you up at night. Okay, let's get some romance for you. All right, so you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody. You got something that you need to say. Maybe this thing will make you feel better. Ah, so this is a past life relationship. You know this person that I speak of in this reading. You have a relationship with this individual. You want to sit down and honestly discuss how you feel with this individual. It looks like you're holding on. Hold on. All right. So you got some ha some family issues that needs to be healed. Um, it could be that when you are experiencing your family issues, uh, you run or isolate or whatever this person perceives that you are doing has been misconstrued in some way. Um, you care for a parent, you care for family, you definitely care for someone, something happened. Um, and also I feel the other card that came out is getting to know you. There's some deep. Um, innermost feelings that have not been shared um, uh, uh, between you and this individual. You definitely want to, this person means something to you, Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So, you know, it keeps you up at night. It fucks with you. Excuse my language. It does. It messes with you. You know, you just like, look, I, I, I just want to get this off my chest. You don't want to just have open-ended conversations either. You really want to get this off your chest because you want to get down to something. You want to get to it. But I feel like there is something here that is preventing you from doing that. Um, and, and a part of it is releasing and healing the past. Um, if this is romantic, you called this person in in the past. You, you visualize, you pray. And you, you really hope that things work out according to the Romance Angel Oracle deck. And then the top of the deck shows us forgiving and learning. But now I want to see who you're dealing with. The, the Tarot indicates that it could be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, or a water sign that you're dealing with. But this past life relationship definitely keeps you up at night. Who is Aries connecting with? It keeps you up at night, for real. It keeps you up at night. Who is Aries connected with spirit? Please let me know because this hurts. Doing all this shuffling. That's why I do not like shuffling small decks. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. We got you could be connecting with either a Cancer. I said that. Ow. All right. A Libra. Oh. Or a Pisces or a combination of all of them. Dang. All right, so this is this water sign. This person has cut their feelings off, has blocked you. Um, I don't know, kept something from you. Pulled their feelings back out of the situation, especially if you're dealing with a cancer. If it is not cancer, Pisces, or Libra, then the only other water sign is Scorpio. This person could have Scorpio in their chart. Or if it's not a Libra, it can be a Gemini or an Aquarius as well. You let me know. This is what I see. It's time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this individual. Um, this person has, um, you know, maybe cut off communication and um, took their feelings back, Aries. But um, there needs to be a conversation. There needs to be a conversation. And might I add that a part of this conversation could be wanting to move to the next level. I mean... It is very clear that this keeps you up at night. Um, so obviously it must be dealt with. It keeps you up at night. It bothers you. So you're wanting to get with this, but you, you're not the one that missed your words or one that will not want to talk about something, albeit impulsively. So maybe what this takes is a little bit of strategic planning so you can get to where uh, you need to be with this because whatever you have been doing has not been working and obviously it's bothering you. Um, the major arcana that is here is Hangman um, and what's telling about this card is that you need to surrender to it. Um, hangman energy 
you're upside down enlightened um, about this. You, I mean, but honestly, it's a spiritual awakening. You have to gain a different perspective on this. You have to because it is the card of 12. Because if you do not, you're going to keep doing the same damn thing over and over again. And that's the definition of insanity because you're, you're, you're looking for a different reaction. Patience, awakening, and surrender. You know, this card is a card of a deep psychic power and upside down truths. Think about that. At this time, you move forward by standing still. What is needed is rest and reflection rather than action. You may feel like your life has somehow been suspended. Upside down truths is what we got right now. This is the most telling card here. And this is what must be done this week. You have to surrender to it personally. I think that your jumping in and jumping into action has not helped the situation like share subscribe to the marvelous tribe aries it is always a blast and i will see you next week when we do it again bye guys